Matthew Slater, how are we doing this week? I'm doing okay. How are you guys today? We're doing well, and uh, I know yesterday was a, a difficult result in Miami. I, I listened to you after the game, and you said it would be challenging to get everyone to, to stay up. Uh, now that the team is in uncharted waters is the way you put it. Uh, what exactly did you mm-hmm. mean by you know the, the challenge of not being in uncharted waters but getting the team to you know stay bought in and stay up? Yeah, I mean, I think it goes without saying when you experience uh, the amount of adversity that we have this year and your record is what it is, uh, you have to fight human nature. Um, and I think that's going to be across the board. Um, you know, you have to fight human nature. You start letting certain things creep into your mind. You start letting your habits slip. Uh, you start looking ahead to the future, and, and we just can't do that. So I think collectively we need to make sure that we're not taking for granted the opportunity that we have to keep coming out and playing football. We need to do it with a, a sense of pride, a sense of urgency, and uh, you know we'll see what happens uh, as we move forward. So is that something you've already seen, or that's something you're trying to get in front of? No, that's something I'm trying to get in front of. No, I haven't seen that from this group. I don't anticipate seeing that from this group. But, again, I mean, uh, all of us are human, and none of us are perfect. So, uh, In that sense, you said, uh, you know, having a sense of urgency going into these games, even though you guys didn't get the result that you wanted, you guys have gotten off to better starts overall these last two weeks. What do you attribute those better starts to, and, and how can you keep finding those in the coming weeks? Uh, no, that's a good point. And, and I think we have come out with a, a great sense of urgency in these last couple of weeks. The energy has been great. The early execution has been good. And, and for us, it's it's just about being consistent, and that's something that we've struggled with this season is finding consistency. But I think you have to be encouraged uh, by how we've played early on in games the last couple of weeks. That's how we need to play. We, you know, we want to play from ahead. Um, you know, we want to be playing on our heels. We want to be the aggressor. So we want to continue that and then, you know, find consistency to, to finish uh, these football games. Matthew, uh, I heard and read some of what you said about Kendrick Bourne. He went out. Obviously, you guys have been missing Matthew Judon and Christian Gonzalez, uh, Devontae Parker with that big hit. I know you spoke on that as well. Eventually, the next man up thing, I mean, that's that's the mantra with this team, but when it just keeps happening over and over again, how do you sort of weather that in the locker room? Yeah, you know, it is very challenging. and uh, You know, those guys are who they are for a reason, um, but, I, but I think for our young guys and guys who haven't had opportunities, there are going to be more of them now. And it's time to step up and seize those. Uh, you know, I always think back to my second year. You, you hear about the coach talking about uh, Lou Gehrig and Wally Pip, right? I mean, uh, these things happen. So, you know, opportunities arise. You don't know how they're going to arise, but they do. And um, it's unfortunate the way that they have. But I know our guys are, are ready, the ones who've been waiting in the wings, and hopefully they'll take advantage. Talking to Patriots Captain Matthew Slater, as we do every Patriots Monday here on Jones and Mega with Arkin on WEEI. Uh, trade deadline's tomorrow, uh, less than 24 hours away. There's a chance you're seeing some of your teammates in a Patriots uniform for the last time. And there's been, it seems, you know, more activity in recent years than there were a decade plus ago. How, how have you experienced the trade deadline over the course of your career? Has that changed how you kind of handle these next 24 hours based on the uptick in activity the last few years? Yeah, look, I, I, there are a lot of things that happen in this league that are outside the player's control. I, I think if we spend a lot of time and energy focusing on things that might happen and projecting, uh, you know, hey, this could happen, I get in up there, he get in up there, uh, it's just a waste of energy. So I think for our guys and for myself, we need to just focus on the things that we can control. Uh, Coach Belichick and the organization will will do what they do. The league will do what it what it does. And you know, for those of us who have opportunities moving forward, we need to be thankful for them uh, wherever they may be, and just try to take advantage, full advantage of them. Going back to the unfortunate injuries the team has sustained. Losing a guy like Matthew Judon, who we've seen from the outside, has still been around the team, at least on game days, and now Kendrick Bourne. From the outside, these these guys both look like really vocal leaders and um, emotional leaders in the locker room. 
how do you expect the team to carry forward as somebody who is a leader in the locker room without those kind of vocal leaders there? Yeah, well, you know, I think the thing about those two guys, they are authentic and unique in their own ways. And uh, what you can't get into is as you try to replace a guy is is, is trying to be someone – who you aren't. Um, the biggest thing in leadership is being authentic, uh, especially in an NFL locker room. People can see straight through, uh, you know, a false persona or uh, someone who's not being authentic in any way. So we all need to be the best version of ourselves, whether that's in leadership, whether that's in production on the field. Um, you know, it's really unfortunate that those guys are not with us and, and we hurt from them. Uh, but as we try to move forward without them and continue to do that, you know, we just have to be ourselves. Matthew, I don't know if you like talking about other teams, but now you've seen this uh, Dolphins team twice this year. They've put up uh, huge numbers. Do you think, you know, based on all the all the offenses that you've seen over the course of your career, do you think this one's a special one, maybe like historically? Well, you know, I, I think I saw a stat first time since the merger that, that someone has gone for 1,000 yards in eight games, if I'm not mistaken. So I'd say Tyreek Hill, if he keeps at it, he's going to be pretty good in this league. Uh, I just got to keep working at it. <laughs> but, no, I mean, they're they're a special group, uh, and obviously I'm being sarcastic. Uh, they're, they're very talented, um, and I think they're one of the best football teams in this league. And, and certainly when you look at the skilled players that they have, one of the best groups assembled uh, over the course of time I've been in the league. So, you know, we have a lot of respect for them. I think Tyreek is a generational talent, and you know we'll see how it goes for them. Uh, you switched up your team breakdown after last week's win. Uh, you went with family uh, at the end of the breakdown. Why? Why the change? Uh, just something I felt in the moment. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't plan these things. It's just kind of spontaneous. I feel like Lord gives me something to say to the team. I say it to the team. Um, there's a lot of speculation, which I find comical about why I changed it, but you know, it, it has nothing to do with anybody, uh, outside of our locker room or what they've been saying. Like, look, it's, it's unfortunate that, that everything we say is, is put under uh, a microscope. That's in my, in my opinion, an intimate moment for our team. And, you know, we, we give people a look inside, but you know, what we say to the team, all, all of us, uh, you know, it's really for the team, and and that's it. Okay, now I feel kind of like a jerk asking this follow-up. <laughs> Do it. Go, go there, Mega. Um, Too well, late. In the video that the Patriots released, Jabril Peppers was also addressing the team following last week's win. What have you seen from him in his his time here? How has he grown as a leader on defense? Yeah, you know, I, look, I think this year especially, um, obviously his first year with Devin being here, Devin was the unquestioned leader of our football team. And, uh, you know, it's kind of guys don't want to step on toes. Guys are respectful. And then obviously, you know, when you have a guy like Devin, it probably serves you well to follow him and, and follow his lead. Uh, but now that, you know, we had, we've had that void at the beginning of the season, I think that Jabril, again, another guy that I appreciate because he's authentic. He didn't come in and, and try to be Devin McCourty this year. He tried to be the best version of Jabril Peppers. And, and that means, you know, energy, leadership, accountability, toughness. Um, he's a, he's just a, a unique guy in the way he approaches the game. And, uh, man, you, you, you take 53 Jabril Peppers, uh, honestly. So it's been great to see him, uh, grow in that role. Obviously he's performing great on the field. Um, and a lot of guys look to him to provide leadership and he does. 53 Peppers would be a very physical team. There'd be a lot of guys getting hit out there, right? <laughs> yes, there would. Uh, Matthew, going from a, a high like last week and beating Buffalo to a uh, to a game like this one, how hard is it to sort of maintain that kind of momentum from a week to week basis? I mean, I feel like people look at the schedule and say, "Oh, you got a couple wins in a row, a couple losses in a row." I mean, you're you're going through a whole new game plan and everything else. What's that sort of like trying to trying to carry that over into the next week? Yeah, it, it's 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 tough, you know. Uh, football is such an emotional game, and there are highs and lows. Um, I think the challenge is just to say to stay consistent. You don't want to get too high, you don't want to get too low, and I think that takes a lot of maturity. Um, I think the more you see and the more you understand this league, you know things can change very quickly. 
Um, and I think that's why Coach has always taken the approach that he has. Like, hey, well, on to the next week, uh, you know, he gives you very little in terms of emotion because he understands that, you know, you have to be consistent and even keeled. So it's a challenge for our group, uh, just like it is every other group. And, um, you know, we, we've been through a lot this year, and we're just going to keep staying the course and, and see how things turn out. All right, he is Matthew Slater. He joins us every Patriots Monday here on Jones and Mega with Arcan on WEEI. Uh, Matthew, good luck this week. Happy Halloween, and we'll talk to you next Monday. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Take care.